Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to look at how to create a treatment for a music video. The whole process from the beginning to the end and everything in between. When I'm creating a treatment for a music video, there are eight things that must be clear. These are the look or grading, the storyline of the video, locations, wardrobe, extras and the gear that you're gonna use the first one on the video treatment is the look or color grading of the video how it will look after it's done even though this is the last part of production how the video will look when it's done is the first thing to consider on the treatment of the script you need to have something that you are working with the whole time all your decisions that you will make in the video should complement the look or the color grading you are going for if you don't know how the look of the video should be how are you going to know the colors your artist should put on <laughs> the lighting the location so all these things come in to support the look of the video you are going for so how do you come up with the look or how do you come up with the grading the video that you haven't seen it is through watching other videos of the same genre as well as based on the ideas of the artist what kind of videos do they like or how they want me to do their videos for example here is a music video i did it is a party video but the concept was it should be in the old times around 70s and 80s so i came up with a vintage look and it influenced everything our locations vintage wardrobes and stuff like that the second item on the treatment is the storyline, if the video needs to have one. This is a short film that explains what the song is all about. What are you trying to achieve with that video? Is it an educational video? Is it a heartbreak? So you come up with a storyline through the guidance of the song itself. The question is, how do I come up with the storyline for the music video? This is where I see chaos. Most videographers really go upa loompa when it comes to the storyline of their music videos. Like you can't really tell exactly what the story is about, but it is there. They make it so complicated that you cannot follow it up. You just see people dancing and you know, the storyline is there, but you can't follow it up. Now coming up with the storyline of the music video is very easy because First of all, the story is already there in the song. You just need to come up with a way of telling it. Make it as simple as you can. Let people know what the song is all about even without listening to the music itself. For example, I did a song called Bombi by a Zimbabwean artist and I asked the artist what is the meaning of the song and he said in his language Bombi means something that is wow when you see it. So I came with a list of the things which are like wow when people look at them and I narrowed the list to two things cars and women. When you see a really nice car you go like wow or when you see a beautiful woman with serious bad ass factor passed by guys they will go like wow so i decided to go with the woman here is how simple the storyline of the video is she is walking and guys go crazy when they see her simple as that when she posts a picture on instagram guys go crazy when she enters a club guys go crazy and their women fight them the story is very simple and straight to the point fun and entertaining by the way this video actually won best video of the year 2022 the third item on the video treatment is locations what locations will best match the story come up with a list of suggested locations find out if it is allowed to shoot in those locations and what are the limitations find out if you need to pay for those locations and discuss it with the producer which in most cases will be the artist himself find out how easy it will be to get to those locations and stuff of that nature the best thing to do is location scouting physically go there if you can and see what it looks like the lighting at different times of the day and stuff like that anyways if you are enjoying this video please consider to like and subscribe to my youtube channel i have a lot of content just like this which is coming up on this channel moving on to number four is wardrobe what should the artist put on what colors do you think will match the look of the video and blend nicely with the locations don't let the artist come up with a random wardrobe tell them what they should look for and i don't go lightly on this one 
For example, I did a video which I said to be in the past. Like I said, I wanted it to look vintage so the artists couldn't find vintage clothes on the market. Guess what? I told them, look for a tailor to make you vintage outfits. It added more to a video and the look I was going for. Another example is this video that I said to be in the village. The village girls had to dress in this costume specifically to match the theme of the environment. I had to go myself personally and choose the outfits for them. Try to come up with outfits that will suit the locations and the vibe of the song or outfits that match to create a theme. Last example is this video. I made sure that it's only white in different locations but the same song so that it has some sort of a theme. All right, moving on to number five on the list is props. Props are movable items that can be seen in the video to support the story. It can be a car, a motorbike, wine glass, a yacht, etc. And you need to write them clearly in your video treatment so that you know exactly what you are going to work with. In this video, you can see the lady is carrying an old radio. That is a prop. In this one, you can see the ladies are carrying traditional plates. This one is carrying a traditional pot. You can see the car coming to stop for them and all these are props. You can see from these examples how wardrobe and props work hand in hand. It just really adds value to the story that you are trying to tell. So be specific on the props. Check them out before shooting. If they change, make sure you update your treatment. Try to find something that will work in advance. Just a reminder, this is one of many topics in the course that I have done called how to shoot cinematic music videos. So if you think you still want to learn more, please do check out the course. The link is in the description below. In the course, I go through pretty much everything. Next up on the list is extras. These are extra people that may be needed to make the scene look authentic. For example, in this video, you can see all these people dancing, chilling, Already you can tell this is a party, but all these people are simply extras. The song is focused on him with this girl at the party. Another example is in this video. All these people are just extras to make the scene look authentic. So in your treatment, state an estimate of extra people you may need. What will they be putting on and what will they be doing? Sometimes it might not be a lot of people, maybe just one extra person to make the scene look authentic. Like in this video, I just added this extra old man just to show it's a normal village with other people. Moving on to the last one on the list is gear, which is all the equipment that you need to shoot that particular video apart from the one that you already have. Will you need an extra gear? Will you need a drone? What type of camera will you need? A different camera maybe? What lenses will be suitable? What stabilizers will work the best? Are you going to need a smoke machine? Make sure you go through the gear that you will need to avoid carrying lots of gear that you may not even use or leave gear behind that you may need. And that is another problem when it comes to music videos. The gear you have will not always work or else you end up creating videos that look alike or that look the same. So there will be some extra stuff that you may really need on a particular video to authenticate the story. Sometimes maybe instead of your latest GH5, you might need something like a camcorder just to make the story look real. I'm sure you're getting the point. So this is the treatment part. In the next video, let's look at the script. All these people that you are trying to bring into the video, what will they be doing? What should the artist do in the video? They need to know and they can only know through a script. I'll see you in the next video. This is it. Peace.